G'day guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. On my way home from taking Craig out uh, gold panning in a creek, some road construction workers have bored out um, a gutter in the side of a very, very steep cliff. In that gutter, I saw a quartz reef. That quartz reef was approximately 800 meters from the largest gold bearing mine of the 1800s in Beechworth. 800 meters a kilometer. So, I did the only logical thing I could and grabbed some of their tailings. I'm going to crush up um, all this quartz, pan it off, see if there's any gold in it. Now, I've never done this before, but I'm assuming that shatterproof goggles or glasses are going to be a good idea. I've only got a mortar and pestle, so I'll do the best I can with what I got. It's going to be a very rough crush. Just cleaning out the bottom of the bowl. So to keep it a bit scientific, I've taken rocks that were this big and crushed them down into the, that size. This is all crushed rocks from rocks that were this big. This is the dirt and small rocks that I collected naturally without crushing. As you can see from my massive amount of mess over there, I poured everything that was in this tub back out into my pan and panned it off way, way more carefully because I lost a ton of stuff off it and I wasn't confident about it. And we've just panned it down to these concentrates to which I'm pretty sure I saw a little bit of gold. There it is. There's not much. Oh, I'll see if I can get in the frame. It is the tiniest flower stuff you'll ever see right there. But it's there. That's gold. There's about 15 little tiny micro specks there from that. So that whole area that I drove past had a lot of quartz reefs. There wasn't just one. There was like 10 that were running through and had different levels of mineralization and stuff. So it would be worth taking a sample from each and seeing if any of them have really nice large deposits of gold. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bit of an experiment. Had a bit of fun. 15 micro specs of gold is better than nothing. I'll catch you out here sometime.